virtualization plays an important role in, in our technology because it allows uh, to put uh, different kind of workloads uh, on a platform and have them well separated uh, from each other. And our FOE system is exactly providing this kind of, of isolation. Now also on MPU-based system alongside with the uh, bigger HPC systems which are based on MMU, which we have been doing uh, for a long time. We demonstrate this with an autonomous driving stack. Most of our software is running on this EVA platform with 32 cores and 32 gigabytes of memory. The L4E hypervisor is integrated with standard interfaces like LibWord. The algorithm for the actuation parts, which control the steering wheel, the gas pedal and the brakes, has been extracted to this S32Z board. It is based on a Cortex-R52, where the cores run in lockstep. On the S32Z board runs our L4E microhypervisor with several VMs. The VM running the AutoWare actuation algorithm is completely isolated from other VMs on the board. On the console screen, you can see the output of the AutoWare VM and the other VMs. The L4E hypervisor intercepts any unauthorized or invalid access to a VM. The other VMs will keep running. The hypervisor can also dynamically reset and restart the VMs. The L4E microhypervisor and the L4E hypervisor are built on top of the same L4E microkernel and share the same APIs in user space. So you can freely deploy workloads anywhere you want without having to change the code. With our hypervisor family, you get full scalability from MPU systems up to HPC systems. The collaboration with ARM allows us to unite our expertise in uh, building secure and flexible systems to shape the uh, future of uh, automotive compute systems.